Hi friends, Pisces, welcome. I hope you are well. I hope you know you are fabulous. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to bring you messages from spirit, your angels, your spirit guides, soulmates, late loved ones. Let's see what we have for you for May of 2024. Spirit, please provide divinely guided messages for the highest good only for Pisces. What's coming for them in May of 2024? Four of Ariel. So it's the four of pentacles. When you give, you also receive. Being resistant to change. Extremes in how you save or spend money. Mm. Okay, so we have the four of Ariel for you, Pisces. Perhaps. There's a budget involved or you're feeling like you really, really want something, but you're being too frugal and won't allow yourself that luxury. Very good possibility because let's face it, Pisces, you always keep other people in mind. You always put other people's needs before yourself. It's characteristic of Pisces. It's not a bad thing for those who receive that courtesy from you. <laughs> Spirit, please continue these divinely guided messages for Pisces and the Four of Ariel. What could they be holding on to? What are they waiting for? Reveal what needs to be seen. Last quarter moon in Scorpio. Hmm, very interesting. Last quarter moon in Scorpio. I'm sorry, you can't see that. Oh, forgive me. Forgive my bad manners. I will have the names of all of these beautiful decks that we are going to be using, and we're not going to be using them all. I just like to have them handy. I go to whichever deck Spirit says so. Spirit, please continue these divinely guided messages for Pisces. Revealing what needs to be seen last quarter moon in Scorpio. So, I feel like you need to justify, or someone needs to justify to you, perhaps, why it's okay to maybe not be so tight on your finances. Um, I feel like a conversation's going to be had, or something's going to come to light close to the beginning of May. And Scorpio is very emotional. Um, so I feel like this is an emotional decision for you. Pisces, again, you always concern yourself with others and how they feel or what their needs are. But you always put others before you. Oh. Messenger of fire. So the Knight of Wands, you desire something, you have a lot of passion, 
there's something that you really, really want or something that you really, really want to do, Pisces, but you've been holding back. Okay, Pisces, I am feeling light sears for you, darlings. Spirit, please tell me about Pisces. Tell me a little more. Help me understand perhaps what it is that they desire, something that they feel very passionate about, but yet holding back. Holding back due to finances, maybe. And we have the moon. I feel like you are really going through an internal struggle, Pisces. You do fear other people's perception. You care a little too much about You don't want to come off as being selfish or vain by doing this thing that you feel so passionate about. This thing that you you have a great desire for this. Ace of Cups. You definitely, whatever this is, you want to start it up. But you, you're hung up on other people's feelings. You're allowed to be creative. You're allowed to be you. You're always giving. It's time for you to receive, Pisces. Four of Swords. I feel like you dream about this desire. You You go to bed dreaming about what you can do, how you're going to do it, or what it is that you want. You fantasize about it. You have such fire inside of you for this. Mm, there's something you want, but you don't feel like you deserve it to a point. We've got the hanged man at the bottom of the deck. So, you, you need to look at it from, from a different perspective. You, you're just not seeing things the way that you should be. You're too fixated on other people's feelings. Four of Cups. I feel like you've had people around you provide you with encouragement, but there's still something holding you back. I feel like you don't quite feel established. You're, you're, you definitely have a lot of growing to do. 
especially with what it is that you have this desire to do. I feel like some of you have people that rely on you. And now please keep in mind this is for the collective Pisces, okay? So bits and pieces may resonate with you. Please kick to the curb what does not. Some of you have been caring for others. You have others that depend on you. You are wanting you want more for yourself than just taking care of others. You dream about having the perfect love life you want I feel like the ten of pentacles you know you, which I mean is not an unrealistic desire um, you're very modest I almost feel like your upbringing doesn't really allow you to feel the freedom of expression I feel like you've had you've had people approach you love interests approach you and you've you've had to look the other way or you felt the need to look the other way because you're just too modest that way you don't receive compliments well. You're a bit of a shy Pisces. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you're definitely balancing things in your life. You're you're adapting as well. Um, I, I don't feel like you're, again, you're not quite at the Ten of Pentacles stage in your life. You you are experienced through some aspects that have transpired in your life journey, but you're just, you still have a lot of growing to do. I don't feel like you're very experienced in a relationship, the love relationship field. You may have a couple of relationships throughout your life journey so far. Um, but you're just not a very flamboyant type of a person. You're kind of more, you're not an introvert, but you are more conservative. Three of Cups. I feel like you do have friends, connections, close loved ones that you do open up to about you wanting more. And they do encourage you. They're there. They're with you. But you're still quite reserved. And again, that may have everything to do with your upbringing. Reveal what needs to be seen. Okay, I'm hearing that some of you may be too modest. Knight of Wands. I mean, yeah, you've definitely had people of interest approach you, have come into your life journey that you felt a flame for they felt a flame for you but you just let them keep going it, it made you feel good 
it did. It made you feel really good. But those interactions, either they weren't 100% for you or, again, your modesty, your upbringing, something's holding you back from allowing yourself the enjoyment of a relationship. Page of Cups, yeah. There's something keeping you from allowing yourself You're, you're ripped in two about it. <laughs> Spirit for Pisces. What does it look like for them in May? And potential love. They want love. But I feel like there's a sense that they don't really have time for it. Um, they're overly concerned about what others, those that depend on them, um, it, it could be friends and family, what they think of them because of their background, who knows, there's a lot going on here, but Pisces is feeling maybe they're ready, but then they're not ready, they're holding on for a reason. King of Swords. Hmm. Oh, wow. All right. With the King of Swords. This is a very masculine energy. Somebody's going to be coming in this month, May, who is they're going to let you know what it feels like to be loved. And they're going to make it extremely easy for you to let go of what you've been holding on to. You see that loose wire there? Yeah, you're, you're cutting cords. You are going to feel a sense of freedom. This person coming in, they are all that in a bag of chips, darling. They are going to make you feel as such as well. You're going to have that fire, that passion for this energy coming in. I do feel as though this is going to be, this, this connection that you have very well could be an air sign. I could be wrong. I almost want to say Gemini. They're very outgoing, very easy to connect with. Don't hold back. And I have a feeling that this connection is not going to hold back when it comes out, when they find you or find their nerve to tell you how they feel. You're going to feel it. And you're going to know it's right. And you're going to let go of any reservations that you've had with allowing yourself to be loved in that manner. You're going to, for well-deserved time, you're going to have some me time with them and you're not going to need to worry yourself so much. Oh my goodness. Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Definitely love coming in for you. That is going to make it worth your while. And honey, you're not going to worry about what others are going to think. You're going to be like, listen, this is it for me. And yeah, y'all aren't going to have as much of my time as I usually afford you. 
Mm-hmm. I love it, Pisces. Oof. Knight of Cups. Yes. Yes, please. It is not going to take long at all. Oh, my goodness. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This is someone that you're going to be building roots with, growing roots with. Oh, building homes with and growing roots. That's my aged brain. Eight of Wands. Yeah, this information. Mm -hmm. This communication. The messenger of fire, the knight of cups, this communication is going to happen, I'd say, within the first week of May. There's going to be action taken, and there's going to be something new brewing for you by the second week. The new moon is going to bring new love. Wow. Pisces, if this reading resonates with you, I certainly hope that everything works out the way you want it to. Please go with your gut feeling, your intuition. You know what's right for you. If this reading did not resonate, well, that's okay. This was for the collective Pisces. I certainly hope that at the very least you found it entertaining. Until next time, stay absolutely fabulous.